So this is day one um, of 365 days of horsemanship. Um, it's kind of actually day seven really um, because I thought about doing this a week ago and now a week later I'm thinking yeah do you know what I should really just start. Um, so a week ago I kind of came to the realization that um, I just really need consistency um, even if I'm just literally coming up and just being around um, that that consistent relationship checking in maintaining that relationship is really important um, and yeah just over the next year that's something that I think is going to be possible for me again um, and it's something that I want to prioritize um, and I kind of just want to like make a record and see where I'm at a year from now um, so I think goals wise I think I've been trying really hard to be honest with myself um, about what I really want and that's been really challenging um, kind of pushing back all of the um, pushing back all of the ideas about what we like think that we should have um, and like what we think that we need um, and what other people think that I should be doing and really just kind of focusing on what I actually want um that's been really hard that's been really tricky so I think what I really want is whatever I do to feel like my horses want to do it too um that's really kind of the nuts and bolts of it like I just really want to feel like that we're doing things together and if it doesn't feel like that I don't want to do it and I don't really care what it is um so yeah so kind of alongside that trying to be like progressive and keep your horses physically fit alongside having this like really intensely um like present idea that like well is my horse enjoying it is can make things challenging you know because like I'm just noticing more and more starting to pick up on the moments where they disconnect or they don't want to actually they said no and then it's like how do I deal with those no's right um so yeah so I took them out for a walk on Wednesday it's Friday now um I took them out for a walk on Wednesday um both of them Mia and Lawrence together um and it was nice it was fine um I think Lawrence had a good time. I don't know that Mia really felt that she got the attention that she deserved the whole time. Um, and then I couldn't come yesterday. Yesterday was the first day of the week that I couldn't come. Um, because I was just too exhausted after work. Um, and yeah, so I came today um, and I went to see Lawrence. And that was really nice because he was... He was happy to see me um, and, I, and I did some of my, you know, like massaging, stroking, scratching with him. And I like asked him a couple times to like just rock his hip, um, which he just would prefer to have his needs met. Right. And that's what you're saying. Like, ah, I know what you're saying, but like, I'd rather have my needs met. So I just kind of did a lot of meeting his needs, really. And just reconnecting and it was really nice energy and he was really engaged with me being there and he definitely feels like he's woken up after winter um he's like come out of hibernation um so that's really nice so that's good um and actually I felt like I could see how maybe I just need to start introducing the question of okay can I but what about my needs right so it's like okay you need me to scratch you here to massage you there to touch you in this place and this place and this place oh and then actually I need you to just like rock your hips like my need is for you to rock your hips and like that's okay to ask that you know and it's okay to ask that and then if he says no that's cool and like you can try and set it up like so that he does say yes um or you know come back to a different time whatever but I think that that could work out with him and I don't have the same kind of time frame with him or like like urgency that I do with Mia where I feel like I need to like get her physically fit I have that extra pressure um so it was a nice session with Lawrence and it f definitely feels like that if I'm consistent with him 
potentially um we might be able to do some cool stuff and he actually really en seemed to enjoy the walk on wednesday which i was really pleased about because i was worried that maybe he had deconditioned so much that the walk might be too much for him but actually he seemed to really enjoy it um and i think that he would be motivated to come with me maybe tomorrow um or sunday if i have time and which would be really nice um yeah, and then I went to see Mia. Um, I didn't really kind of expect anything from her because the last, like, couple of days, I don't know, like, I went out with her... I went out with her on Monday as well. Um, and Monday or Tuesday. And uh, we started off really well. Um, and we walked down the road. And then... Then I got distracted talking to someone else and so her knees weren't being met anymore and I kind of abandoned her a bit emotionally because I got talking to somebody. Um, and so then the next day, she like didn't really want to know. Um, and I think with Mia, it's like I can really see how if I make a mistake, it can take me quite a long time to like rebuild the connection. Like I'll re like I'll have a great connection with her and I'll like, she'll be so engaged with me and it'll be like magical. And then... I'll fuck up, I'll do something wrong, and, um, can't actually say that, I'll, like, mess up, I'll do something wrong, and, um, and then it'll take me, like, a few, like, like, quite a while, like, more than one session then after that to fix it, um, and maybe I need to work on, like, fixing it at the time, you know, when it's possible, but today it was quite nice, um, like she was eating and she kind of like she wasn't she didn't come over and be like hey let's play but like as soon as she saw I was there she kind of like moseyed on over to me while eating and it was like yeah I want to eat but I want to do it with you and that was really nice because it's like okay I've made a mistake but I don't feel like we've gone as far backwards as we have before where it's like now I'm totally ignoring you and it's like you don't exist it was like oh hey cool like my needs are this today. I'm not really interested in your needs, but like, I I want to do it with you. And that's nice. Like that, you know, it's nice that she made that choice and she came up and like, she made it clear that, you know, like she wanted me touching her. She wanted me like touching distance. Um, and she was, you know, she like, she turned and, you know, like had a little, like, just like lippy moment, just mouthy moment, which was actually nice. And it wasn't like too aggressive or anything. It was just like a little acknowledgement, like, hey, and I stuck around for a bit longer, but nothing really changed. Um, so I just left. Um, I probably really only did like maybe 15 minutes with Lawrence and 10 minutes with Mia. But I think um, I think it was worth it. I think it's I think that like this idea of like, oh, you know, like, you didn't do enough, like, you know, you didn't, you came up, but you didn't do enough. I think that's silly. I think I need to get away from that. I think as long as I come and I engage, even if I only have 10 or 15 minutes to give them, I think that actually that's worth it um, to come and be there and to be engaged with them, you know, and to just check in. Um, and I think the consistency is where the magic is going to happen, hopefully. Um, so yeah, this is my day one log um 365 days let's see where we are at the end of this um i'm gonna try to film every day even if i don't make it some days um or if i'm like don't make it because i'm not well like i was yesterday um kind of film afterwards and talk about that um yeah i just try to be really honest with myself um so yeah we'll see how it goes <laughs>